All right, guys, I just want to check this audio real quick. You might hear an echo. All right, guys, I just want to check this. Okay, sounds good to me. How are you guys doing? <clears throat> I'm just finishing. I'm just pouring out the rest of the, uh, the paints because it is acrylic. <clears throat> I don't want it to, uh, I didn't want it to dry. So i so got a couple more colors to pour out. If you guys want, share the video. Um, I have an iPad up here on Facebook. I have uh, another device over here for YouTube. And uh, believe it or not, I'm streaming on Twitch too, even though I've never been on there. So, so yeah, share the video if you want while I'm doing this. Just take a second and I'll go over everything that I'm using. And uh, yeah, so a little bit nervous, a little bit nervous about this one. Um, didn't put much thought into this before I posted it, so yeah, see what, to, see what happens. As soon as I get this paint out, I'll go down into the comments. You guys can let me know how it sounds. I'd appreciate it. Great. And I think I probably already mentioned this. I'm using golden, uh, just golden acrylic, golden acrylic paints. How's everybody doing out there? You guys all bored at home? Uh-oh, hear an echo? Hang on. Okay, well, you shouldn't hear an echo now. Does anybody else hear an echo? I, I, turn, I had to turn another volume up just to check. I wanted to hear myself what it sounded like. All right, cool. Just make sure there's no echo. There might have been earlier in the video. But if anybody's just joining and rewinding it or whatever, there might be an echo. All right. Now, I don't know if these colors are going to, if some of these are going to dry. During, uh, during the process, hopefully not. If so, I'll just have to pour some more out. Now, the, the reason why I was a little nervous about this is because on, I don't have any, any experience with acrylic paint, you know, whatsoever. So, um, yeah, I may, I may just embarrass myself here tonight, but, you know, it's all right. Ugh, stream dropped, I think. Hold on, guys. Hang on. Let me take Twitch off. Hold on. Hold on, guys. If you can hear me, hang on one second. All right, it should be back. It should be coming back, everybody. Just stand by one second. Let's go back into here. Offline, man. Let's see, what do we got? Okay, that's, that's coming back. And this one should be coming back, too, hopefully. Coming back to life, everybody. Just stand by. Yeah, I think um, I just took the uh, I just took Twitch off. I, I you know I was just trying to stream on there. All right, cool. Yeah, just oh my um, hopefully it doesn't do it again. Just hang on one second. I just want to make sure Facebook is back up. All right, so all right, so I think we're good. I took uh, I took Twitch off of there. All right. Okay. All right, so everybody on here, if that happens, if you see that little thing circling around, just, just don't go anywhere. I'll wait a minute to see if it comes back on. All right, enough of that. All right, got the colors poured out. So actually, let me show you the palette real quick so you can see it. This is gold. It's golden uh, acrylic paint. 
So there's titanium white, Prussian blue. I think that's like ivory black or Mars black. Uh, burn umber, sap green, cad yellow, yellow ochre, and uh, bright red. Similar colors, I would suppose, uh, to what I normally use, but um, they're definitely like different different looks. They don't look exactly the same. So let's see what happens. Um, oh, and this little plate right here has this extremely thin, it's like, like soupy white paint. And I used that the other day in the background when I was doing that uh, tree. Let's see here, okay. I think I got a couple brushes off to the side. I'll probably grab a three-quarter and start off with a three-quarter brush here. Let me just think here. I didn't put much uh, thought into this whatsoever. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to take some of this here, this white, this thin, just it's just white paint. I think it's like white mixing paint, acrylic. All right, and, and I have the picture off to the side. I'm just going to throw some of this up here. And I have a thing of water down here also, as well. So I'm hoping just to get, you know, like a nice little blend up here with this, uh, with this real thin acrylic white. I'm not going to worry too much over here or over here, because it looks like I got some trees on each side. <clears throat> I could have picked an easier subject to do, you know, for the first one. But, you know, <clears throat> you only live once, I suppose. All right. I'm probably going to dip into a little bit of water also. And that'll even thin this out just a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to do actually right now. A little bit of water. And um, just a little disclaimer, you know, definitely I wouldn't, uh, if anybody's trying to follow along, just I would wait till the video's done, just to be sure, because I'm just kind of rolling as, you know, as I'm going here. All right. A couple more areas and I think we'll be all right. You know what the funny thing is, is I was, I came here like three hours ago to try to get this all set up and everything, and I still wasn't ready on, like, you know, I wasn't technically ready and all nice and calm and ready to go. I was scrambling the last few minutes. All right, let's start dropping some color. So I'm just going to wipe, oh, it's interesting, I'm just going to wipe this off real quick, wipe it off, <clears throat> and... Looks like we got some blue up there. So, let me move this out the way. All right, so I'm gonna start off with some blue. Looks looks like it's Prussian blue. Maybe it has a little black in it, but we'll see. A blue, yeah, maybe just a tiniest bit of black. Tiniest bit. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, it's gonna take a little longer using this, but uh, it worked out so good the other day. Um, I was actually uh, pretty comfortable using it, so. Make the top nice and dark. All right. I'm not going to worry about the edges too much. All right. And I think, just to say this again, I think, I mean, I'm looking down the stream. The, the, the signal looks pretty good. Hopefully it doesn't drop out. If it does, just sit tight for a minute. And as a little backup, just in case anything does drop out, I will... If anything drops out and it doesn't come back, just go back to whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, just go back to my channel and wait a second and I will restart it. But it look I mean it looks pretty strong right now. I think uh the Twitch thing was really draining it. All right, so I'm going to get this nice and dark on the top. And uh the other day this stuff stayed wet for a while, so I think we're all right there. All right. There. And it's going to get super light as it goes down here. I'm just getting some color on here. And I'll try to make it look nice afterwards. So if you haven't shared the video, do that real quick if you don't mind. 
just share it real quick. While I'm doing this, you're not missing anything. I'm just going to be blending this. I would super greatly appreciate it if you just shared it real quick. All of my fabulous people out there. All right, just a little bit darker up on the top. Yeah, so for anybody that's interested, I'm going to have to get the exact name <clears throat> of that thin white acrylic paint because I'm telling you, this stuff is, it, it's really, I mean, you can see this, right? It works very well. And I, I'll be uh, honest, I, it was like at some, obviously an art store where I got it. It was super cheap. It was like the cheapest stuff that they have there. So um, a little bit darker here because we're going to put a cloud. So, oh, and just for anybody wondering, I had figured maybe like two hours, maybe we'll go like two hours. So that's why I'm telling you, share it now so more people can come in. And uh, I always say this, but if this is something that people actually watch, I'll, I will do these. I'll do them, I'll set up a schedule and do them. So we're gonna have a cloud right there. So I'm just darkening it up. I'm not trying to rush really. So if any, you know, just kind of, I'm just kind of chilling out, taking my time, just, you know, calming my nerves down a little bit because uh, I already told you, I kept saying to myself last night and today, like, you know, what were you thinking? You know, why would you do something like that? So, all right, I'm just going to get a little bit of the, a little bit of that white and just to soften these sides up a little bit. So there's no white spot showing really whenever we get done putting trees over top of it. By the time we get there, it'll be dry probably. All right. Actually, I'm going to get some water on the brush real quick. I'm going to get some water on there and see what that does. Yeah, that's fine. All right. There's a big hill somewhere right there, so I'm not worried about that too much. Okay. All right, I'm going to wipe this off real quick, and I'm just going to blend this a little bit. This side here, yeah, not too You know what? I better do it on right here. Better just blend this just in case. Grab a little bit of that stuff there. Blue. Something like that looks about right. And there's stuff over here, so I'm not worried about that. So how many people uh, on here even do use acrylic paint? Is everybody more oil, or is it... What do you guys use? All right. I'm going to blend this now real quick. So start here. I'm just going to soften it up a little bit. And it's still, it's still actually, you know, working through, so it's good. It's still, it's not like dry. It's starting to tack just a little bit. But I used a lot less of the uh, the white today than I did the other day. All right. All right, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm just gonna wipe it off, and I'm gonna go into some of the the thicker white, which is the golden the golden white, and I'm gonna. Just drop in a couple of these clouds up here. I'll see how this brush works out. Okay. I'm just gonna take some straight up white. And you know what, this is much thicker white. This is really, this is really a lot thicker. Okay. So, somewhere right around here it looks like will work. So I'm just going to probably use the corner of this because probably be the best bet. Yeah, something like that. Now this is not going to work like the uh, like the wet on wet method. Um, I mean, I'm hoping that it'll blend a little bit, but I don't think it will. 
So let's see, there's one over here. Right there looks about right. Now obviously this is not going to be exact. We'll be, we'll be lucky if it's even close. Put a more some more white there. And on the edges, there's a bunch of stuff going on. So I'm, like I said, I'm not worried about that. Now, now I got to figure out the best thing to do here. A blender brush would probably be pretty nice right now because it is a little wet still, but I'm just going to use the same uh, three quarter. And this is, I mean, this is like the easy, easy stuff. You know, these clouds here, I'm more worried about, you know, the actual land. I'm going to probably throw a sketch down just to make it a little bit easier. Grab some more white See, you know what I'm gonna hold the brush like this maybe I'll tell you what it was a lot of fun the other day watching or watching doing the uh, the other acrylic painting I actually liked that a lot So yeah, I'm just trying to get the color up there at this point right now. Let's see how I can do this. So a lot of this stuff, um, you know, I've never done before. So I'm just trying to figure out the best way as, um, as I'm going. I thought I had a blender brush somewhere around here. I did find something. Let's try this. Let's try, uh, I have this little blender looking thing here. Let's see how this works. It's a little better. So yeah, so now at this point now, however many minutes we're in, it's starting to get like sticky, okay? So <clears throat> just enough time, just enough time for that. We got this little bucket of uh, water down here just to wipe that off in case I need it for something else. <clears throat> All right, so this is where I would go with this at this point. Um, I'm probably gonna grab I'm just, you know what, the three quarters probably just fine that I'm using. All right, just the three quarters. So at this point, I'm going to, I'm going to try to just get a general idea of where those hills are and all that stuff. So the background of those mountains are like a blue gray. So I'm going to take, uh, I'm just going to use some Prussian blue, black, uh, some red. And white and that'll get that should give us a like a bluish gray color hopefully very dark blue gray I'm mixing that color right now okay that's about right all right here we go so I'm just gonna throw a sketch in uh, and see just so I can sort of lay this out I'll start on this side here so we got one that kind of goes like this, comes down, this, and then. There's one in the center here, but that goes that way. So let's do this. I can always raise these up if I need to. And this one has like a weird looking drop down. It comes behind these trees, though. It comes over here drops down. I'm just using like a little bit of paint at a time. And there's that big angle paint comes actually out like this. Drops down. Now this is just a little sketch just to try to help me, you know, figure out where everything is. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to mix some white in there and just lighten it up just a little bit. And try to work down to the base, I guess. <clears throat>
I may end up switching brushes. I don't know. I'll have to see. But this, this is pretty good for like getting sharp edges and stuff. And obviously we have a bunch of highlights and stuff that we got to put on here. So this is just the underneath color. So we're going to go down to about, let's get this in here like this. There's going to be a bunch of like mist. It looks like right below this point. All right. So let's see here. I'm just taking some straight white now and just mixing it right on my brush. And I can even put more dark back in on the top, but I want to try to get this layer of uh, misty looking stuff down here at the bottom, just so it's there. Circles probably work out pretty good, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to put the dark back in just because this is the easier way to do it. So you learn as you go. The white down. That's the way to do it, right there. See that? And let's just get a little, little bit more white there. It actually looks like a layer of mist or something. And there's that, that, that hill there. I mean, I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to you, but I, I talk to myself quite often. Just haven't figured out the answers yet. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the dark back in. It just seems like the logical thing uh, to do. So. All right, so we put the light in, go back to that blue-gray color. Um, so we had Prussian blue, black, a little bit of red, and white, and that gives us that color. Come right here. It's going to bring some of this color down. Like that. There's multiple ways to do things, you know, um, everybody has different ways. Some work better than others, but just trying to figure out what is the best for right now, best way, so. And as far as these little mountain things go, like the super darks, I'm going to come back and put those in, in the corners and everything. So we're just getting the basic, trying, like the, the basic colors and if that makes like good sense. Just a bunch of grays and blues. And reach over and grab some of that, that thin white real quick. Actually, that might be a good thing to do. Mix some of our color into that thin white. That might actually help us a little bit. I didn't think of that. The so blue, black, red, and some of that thin white. Okay. Yep, there we go. Nice and thin. There's not too much of this showing. I don't want to go overboard, especially over here because there's a bunch of trees and things. It could even be just like this. So now I'm going to go into uh, <clears throat> straight white, right, quickly, and just try to softly bring uh, this together right here. Okay, just that little area right there. More of that white. And I'm like barely touching because I'm trying to, I'm really trying to transition this. All right, just for right now to see where we're at. Here, white side. There. And back to the dark. Back to the dark for eight. There we go. Nice. While I'm at it, might as well just do it. 
just in case some of it shows through. I don't know if it will or not. Since I have the color right here, I might as well just drop it on. So I'm sure most of you guys know that if you're trying, if you ever want to get like a nice, uh, like a gray blue color, just use blue, black, red, and a little bit of white until uh, you get the right value of what you're looking for. You guys probably know that. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to do, I'm going to get a little bit more white, <clears throat> thin white, with like a nice little blue color. There's a lot of trees over here, but some of it might show through, so this will be a nice little background, if it does show through, hopefully. So at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the stream, I'll, I'll uh, post something just to, so you guys can know what the white is that I'm using, that, that super thin white. It's a really, it's a really good color, actually. Um, very surprised. I wouldn't be able to do this with the regular what titanium white that I'm using, so. <clears throat> okay. All right, so there's that right there. That's just the basic, uh, basic outline of that mountain, all right? So that'll tack up for a minute. We'll get some highlights on that. I want to focus right here for a minute. I'm wiping this brush off. I'm going to wipe this off. And I'm going to use some straight up white because there's a super bright spot in that other picture. And if that's not there, it's going to have a hard time defining that hill that's like right over here somewhere. Okay, so we got to put that in regardless. So I'm going to try to use some of the thick white. That's how I'll refer to it as thick white and thin white. Okay, so you guys know. All right, the thin white is the unknown name brand so far. And the thick white is going to be the um, golden. Okay, so we have, it's, this has got to be super bright, straight white. And that's going to start right about here. Something like that. I'm just going to try to tr really transition this as, as soft as I can without making too much of a mess here. Okay. So I just wiped the brush off and I'm really just trying to calm this area down a little bit. And it's not going to show up too good right now until we start putting something in front of it. But I think it's like important to have this in there so we can get this little hill to show up. And we'll move to the highlights here in a second. I'm giving this time to really tack up. It looks like there's some over here too. Okay, so I, you saw what I did to the canvas. I didn't do anything else other than what you guys saw by putting the white and a little bit of water on. Um, and down here, there's, no, there's nothing down here. It's just, it's extremely dry. Okay, okay that's going to get covered, no problem. Let me, um, hold on a second. Let me set that down for a minute and look at this. All right, not too bad. Color seems all right. Okay. So I guess I probably, you know what, let's do this. Let me wash this off real quick. We'll do the highlights on the mountain. That's always a fun part. All right, I'm just wiping this off real quick. And you know what, just the suspense is killing me. Hold on a minute. Let me grab the uh, container because uh, I'm just anxious to, to show you guys what this is. Here it is, right? Here it is, right here. Uh, Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylic. Artist Loft. It came in this big old thing. It was super cheap, like, I don't know, five bucks, six, maybe less than ten. It wasn't expensive. And I got this because I did, like, this, um, like, date night party at a, at a bar uh, for a bunch of, like, husbands and wives. And I just bought the biggest bottles I can get. And I got a bunch of colors of it. I only used a couple of the colors, so 
but I'm definitely going to buy some more of that if I'm going to do acrylic because that was pretty cool. All right, so I'm trying to figure out uh, what brush I'm going to use here. So I grabbed um, some brushes that I normally don't use. All right, so I'll tell you what it is. So the brush that I have here, uh, it's made by Maestro Series XV Filbert number four. It's like a synthetic looking thing. Just seems like it'll be uh, easier to do what I'm doing. All right, so these highlights have, looks like a yellow ochreish type of color as far as the highlights go. So let's just start playing around. I'm going to take yellow ochre. I'm just going to dull that a little bit with maybe a tiny bit of brown. Dull it. Start throwing color up. Okay, here we go. Start right about here. Right here. Drop some on. Okay. Looks like so maybe the light's coming from this way. Just highlight these little ridge looking things over here. Yep. I might get quiet if I'm if I'm concentrating. Okay. And when I was just about to dull that a little bit, I decided I'm not going to. I want to try to make a little bit more colorful if I can. And I'm going to ask you guys how that looks in a minute here. All right, so looks like I got some up here too. And uh, by the way, um, if any of you guys saw the painting, the picture on the Facebook or YouTube, that was from, that was the first year I started is when I did that. I spent a lot of time on that, um, probably two hours, the original one. And I was just looking at it and it looks like the lights actually come in maybe this way I don't know it's like coming upward straight down maybe it's like lunchtime 12 o'clock wherever it is <clears throat> so I got some here and there's gonna be light you know lighter colors that go on top of that I'm just adding a little bit at a time I just keep looking over to you know Try to get it close. You know, it doesn't have to be exact. If you're ever remaking something, don't like, don't kill yourself with it being exact. So, now I'm just moving this around like this to try to like um, scrub any little ends and area, you know, hard edges and stuff like that out. Because we still got to put shadows in too. Hmm, this is pretty fun so far. I actually like this. How does it look on your end? one's going to drop down i'm doing all the little i'm going to do the highlights first all of them well almost all of them and then i'll do the shadows after this oh and you know what while i'm <clears throat> while i'm doing this you see i'm just doing highlights i think i should probably answer a question it's probably it's probably the most asked question that I've that I always get every day, every week, um, about my, about my last name. People always ask me <clears throat> where, why do I have two different last names? So let me explain. Let me just do this real quick, and I'll tell you why. Oh, how does this look for you guys? By the way, does it look all right so far? I don't want to go too crazy here. All right, so back to the to the last name thing. So my my mother and father never ever got married, and when I was eighteen, I was wanting to start a business, and I did. You know, long story, very very long story, very short. I didn't want to use uh, the name Wozniak on any vehicle or for any business. Why? Because I don't know. I just didn't like the name. And then when I got into the art world. Somebody said you have to use your name, you know, to prevent any mix-ups. So anyways, that's the story of that. So I always kept that name 
uh, the one last name, the Watkins last name. That's my father's last name. And uh, yeah, so now I'm using my other name more. So yeah, it's a little weird, but whatever. Just, just so you guys know, because a lot of people ask that question. They want to know. Some lady uh, sent me a message today and she said somebody was imitating me or like impersonating me on the internet. So I went and looked and it was me. It was my, my page. So I'm going to step back in a second and see how that looks. Looks good. All right, cool. Now you guys are liking it. <clears throat> looks pretty good. Let me just do a couple more areas and we're going to start brightening this thing right up. Looks like I got a little bit there. Just bring out some of the little, little details. So when you, when you paint stuff, it's not always about speed. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to run around, you know, trying to paint something in 20 minutes. And with oil, it's easier to do, you know, but when you're trying to make something and relax, this is good here because I feel relaxed right now. Just putting all these little cool little things in. All right. Let me wipe this off real quick. I'm going to actually wash this off a little bit. You know, and another thing I've been wondering too, um, <clears throat> with, with Facebook, not YouTube. YouTube, uh, my, I've been doing a lot on YouTube and it's been, it's been doing very well and it's reaching a lot of people. But I've been actually very, uh, and, and just so you know what I'm doing, I'm going to take some white and yellow ochre. I'm going to lighten this color up a lot and start putting some highlights on the edges. So I've been actually wondering about Facebook uh, lately. I don't know. Um, I'm just not sure about it. I, I started building that page when I first started. And uh, if anybody remembers, like a couple years back, um, you know, if we, were on a, if we were doing this video and it was 2016 or 17, there would be like a thousand people watching. I don't know if you guys just don't see, if you don't see when I'm, when I'm posting stuff, but it's, it gets a little irritating. Um, I'm not sure if it's Facebook's issue or they're just not, you know, letting people see it, but I think it's unfair. Um, they want you to pay for stuff and uh, YouTube isn't like that. So I've been feeling a certain way about Facebook, even though I've still been putting stuff up there. But I, uh, I've been really leaning a lot towards more, you know, all YouTube. So, you know, if anybody's wondering, because it's like a consistent uh, growing platform. Um, there's always always new people coming on there seeing stuff and i feel like facebook for me at least is just like kind of dropping off so tell me what you think about that do you get you know when i post something do you see it or no or just once in a while so these light areas here i'm just going to try to you know pick them out and just figure out where they should be where they shouldn't be all that stuff this is actually pretty cool i like this this is really fun this is really cool i don't have to sit here and you know use paint thinner or smell different smells from oil. I still love oil, but this is actually pretty cool. Just making sure I leave some nice room for some good shadows. I don't want to kill it with the, with the light color. All right. Doo -doo. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Taking my time. Maybe we need some light there. You know, it only takes something like this to start, you know, to get you started on something, you know. Maybe I'll start making more acrylics now. I don't know. This is going to show through back there. I'm just, you know, I'm barely touching. I'm barely hitting this. I keep reloading so I'm not smashing it in. And, yeah, I don't want to go overboard. We got maybe a little light there. doesn't have to be exact. All right. Okay, let me see this real quick. Let me just take a look. So remember, I'm not worried about here or there over because there's other stuff going on there. All right. I'm not drinking coffee today. I had enough of coffee for the week. <clears throat> All right, let me just rip this paper towel off real quick, figure out where I'm going with this. All right, so the shadows, put the shadows in. I'm going to try to make it stand out a little bit better for you, so I'm going to enhance the colors, okay? Okay. All right, so what do we got going on? It's like a blue color, you know, just a shadowy blue color. So I'm going to make it super, super light blue color. So hopefully you guys can uh, see it a little bit better. 
I think uh, I would like to do this on a scheduled basis, you know? I'm really thinking about it. Anybody's wondering. I'm going to put just a tiniest bit of black in that just to ease it up a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, here we go. Shadow time. Okay. There ain't many shadows in here. There's some, though. There is some. So, hmm. Don't think. Just do it. Same thing. I'm going to hold the brush flat, though, instead of, like, instead of this way. I'm going to hold it flat. Take the shadow. So everything doesn't look the same, like this, the brush strokes and stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. There's only a, there's not many shadows in this, uh, at least in that other picture. There's some, there's a few that stand out, All right? Like maybe uh, there, something like that. Let's do one here. All right, so let me wipe this off real quick. I don't know how this happened, but probably from that, that plate or palette or something. I had a bucket of water here. I have a bucket still here, but I had another bucket before we started. And like two minutes before we started the stream, uh, there must have been a hole or the bucket must have been cracked and all the water leaked out of the bucket and it leaked all over everything. I cleaned it up and had to use a wet vac. I'm going to scrub this real quick. I wiped all the paint off. I just want to soften it up just a little bit because, you know, this is a little further away. And it's doing, it's doing a little bit of a good job, it seems like. Just like softening the whole, I'm going over top of pretty much the whole thing. It's pretty tacky now that yellow ochre dries really fast. I mean like super, super fast. All right. All right, one more color, more of a gray, a little bit of a blue gray color, just for the finalized colors in the mountain. And then we're gonna move right along. All right, a little bit more of that black in there, a little black, touch of blue. Okay, let's see how this looks. Yep, it's very subtle. You probably can't see it, but it's, you know, I see it in the other picture. Bring it right down like this. Okay. All right, let me, let me just step back real quick and look. All right, not bad so far. Not bad. Better than I thought, for sure. How, you guys already said how it looks, right? I asked you. Okay. Okay, so here is the part where I was telling you this was important. And I know it looks like a big blob of nothing on your screen, but check this out. I'm going to use the same little, I like this little filbert brush. This is a pretty handy little thing here. Number four, looks like a synthetic filbert. All right. Here we go. Here we go. So I'm going to sketch in that hill that goes in the front. Okay. I'm going to sketch that in. All right, let's do it. And that color is what? That's just like a green, green something. Okay, let me mix a color. So for, to get that color, I'm going to take, I'm going to just use blue. I'm going to use black. And I'm going to use green. I'm going to use blue, black, and green. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little tiny bit of white into it just to lighten it up and see how that looks. How that looks. Blue, black, and green. Even though it's far away, um, in the other painting, it's still like a very dark, it's like a very dark base for some reason. So, just see if we, you know, if it doesn't look good, you know, just change the color. That's the cool thing about acrylic. If you don't like it, you know, go uh, walk away for, you know, a couple minutes and come back and it'll be uh, dried. All right, I'm not going to do the front one. I'm just going to worry about that little slope in the back first. Once I get that down, I'll feel better, I think. So that kind of goes like this. Just like this. Right under. It goes just like that. Mm-hmm. About right. I want to come back in here. And I'm just going to put, go back over my line. I'm not worried about anything here yet. I'm just, like I said, just this area was what I was worried about. This is that color, that blue, black, green. All right. Here we go. Keep doing it. Color there. Now, this color is not going to stay this dark because there is light color on it. 
and that just kind of like gets dark. So let me do this, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna, I think the easiest way for me is gonna be to do a, another little sketch as we're moving forward. I mean, it's the only real way that makes me feel comfortable um, going forward with acrylics. If it was oil, I wouldn't care as much. I would just do whatever. Um, but this makes me feel better, so I'm sure you understand. Sketches aren't the most fun things to, to watch, for sure, but sometimes they're necessary. So now, I'm just going to use the same color at this point, but there's like these little hill things coming. They're a little closer to us, and I'll go back and put all the little highlights, and the, there's little trees back there, but I want to get this basic, basic shape in. And I think for anybody that's watching this, if you're doing something like this, I think if you do a basic sketch, it's really going to help you figure out where you're going. You know, it's like driving across the country and having a road map or, well, a GPS nowadays, but I think you get the point. So let's do this a little sketch here. And there's this hill's a little higher. It kind of goes like this. Drops down. Just like that. Right in front of that. All right. And I'll fill in all the dark in a minute. And the other side has, that's actually even darker. I've got to darken that up. More blue and black. Fill rate. Here, let me just raise that up a little bit. For that color. And there's another one. This is a little closer. Kind of go right there and it goes whoosh, down like this. And it goes right. Something like that, maybe. Right down into the road. These are two separate pieces here. So I'm just trying to, for right now, I just want to make sure that, that I can know that they're separate, okay? Just like there's one in front of here too. So I'm gonna do that one next. But I hope, that, like, you know, doing a sketch, I hope you guys like agree that that would make sense. If not, let me know. Another little guy right here, a little different color. Goes down, goes up like this. Change it up a little bit. And the other part, of, the other portion of this kind of goes, it actually goes, where's it go? It kind of goes off. It goes up and down and like that. And that's the part that doesn't really show through. And there's another something happening back here too, but you can't see none of this stuff either back there. So we got to worry about the part here in the front. So I'm just going to keep sketching for right now. The other side of this little, this is actually looks like a rock or something. I don't know. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I made the other thing. It sort of appears like a rock. It kind of comes down in front. And it just kind of drifts off. And you, you really can see some, but not too much. I'm going to have to change this color as we move forward. But I just wanted to get it in. Get it in. Basic stuff and then there's a hill over here too and there's a lot of hills little hills little elements this one drops down like this might change some of that i don't know how i feel about that um, and then let me do just i want to do a basic land evaluation here it comes this way and then it this way, this. And then this is all just flat ground over here, pretty much. Bunch of, there's like some flowers and things. And then the land kind of goes up here. It's like a hill. Here's the base of that tree. Just drop that right here real quick, so we have sort of an idea, somewhat, of where that is. Okay. And this area this is all open. This is all open in here. It's uphill. So let me just take a look at that real quick. I hope this is making sense to everybody. Let's see. Yeah, okay. All right, not too bad. All right, let's move back to the back now. So we have this in place. I have an idea of what's what, okay? That's all I was really worried about. And then we can just work forward and just kind of, you know, do each element, you know what I mean? So I'm learning as I go with this. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, there's like some little pine trees way back here. 
and they really stick out after we put the highlight on they're going to show so let me just drop those pine trees in real quick they're a uh, nice looking i don't know blue green color with a touch of white in it i guess to lighten it let me just get some white nice blue green they're not like super super dark trees because they are far away i'm just mixing blue green and white right now just to give me a nice uh nice color blue green white now, you know what? A little bit of black, too, will never hurt. That'll dull it down, gray it down, and make it look even, you know, hopefully somewhat far away later on. If not, if we don't like it, I can lighten it up. All right, let's see how this looks. So I'm going to use the brush up and down. I think that's called vertical. And just, I'm not going to worry about if I come down here, though, because that's getting highlight. We could just cover that right up. Let me do this. Kind of starts off right here, pretty much, right at the edge. I'm just going to go up and down. Just drop some of these trees in. They're bigger than that. I'm just wiggling it up and down, and then I can come back and just, you know, if I don't like something, just kind of, you know, do whatever, fix it. They get smaller as they go that way. I got, so I got to make them bigger on the left. They kind of go disappear over top of that hill right there. All right. And they are bigger here. Put just something there. It looks bigger. A little tiny bit of white. I feel like it should be just a little bit lighter. It's going to go to town with these trees. And then once we put the highlight in, that's when it should really, hopefully, stand out. So now I'm going to come in here and just want to darken up a little bit at the bottom just so it don't look like there's like holes okay I'm gonna get some blue some of our dark original dark color here blue black and green and we just hit this real quick with some just some dark because we're gonna put highlights in here <laughs> I keep saying that. I think you understand. We're going to put highlights in. I don't want to go too far forward with the dark. I want to do, try to do one element at a time um, so I don't get lost on something or, you know, leave something out. So for right now, I'm just going to work on this one here. Okay. Now those trees, it all looks like one big clump of everything, right? Well, this is what I'm telling you. Watch. Check this out in a second. We'll put some put some highlights on it. I haven't really had a chance to look down at the comments, and I will. Um, just really trying to get a grip on this so I would feel better about like somewhat getting through it. <clears throat> All right. What do we have? We have a pale yellow color. It looks like back there, just like a, a bright, obnoxious color. So it looks to me like um, just some yellow, white, yellow and white, cad yellow and white. Ooh, that may be too, uh, get a bit some more white in there. It's more of a pale yellow. It's not like super close to us, I guess. All right. Okay, here's the fun. Let me make sure I make this right. That's like a hill. It slopes, it slopes down. Here we go. Right there. Like that All right now let me come right back in underneath of it and i stopped here because this hill is going to come in front so i'm going to go like this i'm just going to drag some of it down and just kind of build the layers up i guess there is some back here too it looks like I need this to be separate areas separate Just pulling through that yellow color down here. I'm going to get a little bit of a brighter yellow so you guys can see what's going on here. A little bit of yellow there. When it gets real quiet, that means I'm like, I'm like focused.
trying to make sure this hill makes sense, okay? I'm going to wipe this off. And I'm going to try to come back in here now. It's tacked up already, which is okay. I'm just going to, I'm going to soften this with this same brush. And then we can go back over and add, I guess, another highlight is what I, I'm going to do. And that's cool because that kind of really, that did blend it in. Actually, we had just enough time. So now I'm going to get some more of that yellow color and mix it in with our white. All right, and let's see about going back over top again. Yeah, that works pretty good. Nice. There. Make that stick out much more back there. Okay. A little bit more right there. That kind of goes back up. Right up to the edge there. Let me wipe this off, have a look. Oh wow. Hey, that's working for me. I don't know how, you know, hopefully it looks uh good from where you're watching. But wow, I'm actually uh I'm okay with this so far. Just I mean just the way that it's working, you know, the paint, the way the paint's working. I'm good with it so far. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to these guys here, uh, the little closer ones. Now they are, they have some yellow ochres in them, some greens and stuff like that. Still using this little baby filbert here. So I'm gonna, I got the base color already, it's green. So now we got to get a green. So let's just take uh, sap green. All right, and start with some white and sap green. Make that nice and light. And there may be a tiny bit of the yellow in there just to change the color a little bit. Maybe a touch of blue. Yeah, blue, green, touch of yellow. I think that seems about yellow, blue, green. Yellow, blue, green. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Start highlighting uh, these guys. And as I get closer, I'm going to try to use a little bit more like pure colors as I get closer, okay? And that's where this all kind of comes together. Here we go. So I'm going to start off up here. I'm going to work right down. And this kind of goes right in front like this. I'm going to have to highlight that so you know that that comes in front. But you'll see when we're done doing the highlighting, you'll see. I'm actually going to come right over here. Come right like this. Right in the front like this. And we're going to have a highlight here. Okay. I'm going to leave a little bit of that dark right there, just a little bit of that dark. I don't know if you can see that, but like from where I'm looking, you can, you can tell there's a little difference. Okay. All right. Before I go too much further, I have to really, uh, I have to put a tiny bit of dark in here. So hold on one second. Let me just grab some, just any old dark. I just want to fill the rest of this in. So I have an idea. I don't have to do it when I, you know, I don't have to stop highlighting. I have an idea where the other hill starts. So. All right, so there's that, there's that. So we have blue, black, and green for that. Blue, black, green. Any old good dark color, predominantly green, seems to be working. And we got to throw some of it in here too. All right. And I'm just doing this because I realized that we got to put dark in first. And then we can put our highlights on. Okay, that should be good. No, I'm really, I'm really impressed of, of how the paint uh, is working. I don't know that I've ever really taken the time. All right, so I need to lighten that up a hair. All right, we have some green, some green, some yellow ochres in there. I got to watch that yellow ochre. It's going to start tacking up on me. All right. There we go. Something like this. I'm going to start with the edges first because that seems to make somewhat, you know, the most sense. Here. That. The hill am I on? This one here. Top. 
And this is just like a mid-tone for now. Put in the highlight in a minute. Change all the colors. Now I'm going to drop some yellow ochre real quick while I'm thinking about it right out there. Something right there. And this kind of goes forward like this. And these hills kind of go like this. They come forward. See? And if you can see these colors so far, you should be pretty good when we get to the highlight. You should be able to see those. All right, let me get, uh, there's like a weird color, blue, yellow. Like a weird looking green I have in the other painting. Um, so maybe I'll just put it in. Right there, ooh, no, that's a little black. That's too weird. Oh, just a little bit. Right there. It's like a very vibrant green. Very vibrant. Only a little bit of it. Okay. All right, so now let me, before I go too far, let me just give this a quick hit right there and lighten it up just a hair. I'm going to get some uh, yellow. I'm not going to go straight yellow. I'm going to use uh, some sap green and yellow and white. All right, just so it's. Uh, Separated from the hill in the back. That green, yellow, white. There's a lot more yellow than green. And that rolling hill is back here. And this one has some, it looks like. It comes down and just kind of swoops into the land. You know, I'm going to adjust some of this, uh, you know, when, when we need to. Okay. Just trying to build as we go. Seems like the best thing to do. I'm putting a little yellow ochre in there for this guy here. There's a little bit of stuff on the top of him right there. Or here. I just want to be able to set. I want you guys to see the separation between the back and here. Okay. And if I have to put dark back in, I will. Okay. <clears throat> and like I was just saying, if you need to put dark back in, it's super easy. You just come up and just, I see some dark there. See, a little bit over here. I feel like it's easier to put the dark back in after the fact on some of these. Oh yeah, definitely. See, that's something else I just figured out here. Easier to put the dark back in. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? I want to. All right, so this thing, this next uh, area here is, uh, I'm going to say some kind of a rock of some sort. So looks like it has some brown in it. At least probably that's what I was thinking in my mind when I made it. So I'm just going to take straight brown and a touch of black, all right, for now. Brown and black. Mix those and just kind of make the base real quick. I'm just going to block this in, all right, just so that's blocked in. I might have to change, uh, no. A little bit more black in there just so it's not like a vibrant brown i don't normally work with these colors uh like you know when i say these colors i mean like it may be the same colors as like oil but i think uh i really do believe they have a different tone or hue or whatever you want to call it all right so i gotta it's like this and oh, it actually drops that way so just like uh, a basic blocking is probably you know, the best thing to do here. Get the base color in. It doesn't have to look perfect. Something that kind of wrap this rock like wraps around like that or something. Looks like at least. Okay. And if we you know put too much color, we could just cover it up. Back here.
Yeah, so there's definitely a bunch of color back here. So I'm actually going to just get that color in right now. All right, I'm gonna lighten it a little bit as we go that way, because it looks like you can see through some of the trees. Let me just add um, a little bit of white to that color and a touch of blue. See what that gives us. Hopefully it'll just give us a nice, uh, easy background color, hopefully. Yeah, probably good. A little more white. Like this, yep. You just figure things out as you go. Best way. So this part here, I don't even care really how it looks uh, because there's a lot of trees that definitely go over top of there. And I think, like I said earlier, I think the ground actually goes like uphill like that. So we'll just leave this all empty for right now on the bottom until we actually figure out where it's going to go. Let me just let me just move some of this around. Get it in place. All right. Steal some of this light color here. I'll just get it from the palette. Start putting in little elements here. While it's wet, maybe you can even sneak a, you know, a little shadow in or something while it's still wet. So there's something here that goes that way. Straight into the ground, dirt. I'm not gonna go crazy with these little details yet. Let me start adding in some of the ground here. Some of that, let's go back in black and green and blue, green and blue. Seems like a good color for a base. Black, green, and blue. Start putting it in. Figure out where the land goes. Well, that's, an, that's actually a good dark color. It goes right, yeah, the, definitely the ground starts going uphill like this. Maybe we'll have some grass and stuff growing into that rock, you know, formation or whatever. Probably be a good idea. Let me just get some of this, yeah, this dark color in first. I can focus more on, that's going to come this way too. There's that tree, I think, we might as well leave this empty there tree trunk fill some of this in to give us an idea and remember we said that I think the land definitely goes uphill so I'm just going to blop on a bunch of dark color real quick in my mind I'm going to make it go uphill like this right up and out So it seems like what what I like doing is just getting uh getting base color down, right? Getting the base color down and then just, you know, yeah, figuring out where to go. It's sort of just like oil, you know. Um the only difference is obviously it dries quicker. Blending is hard. But that white thin paint really seems to do the job. I'm just going to I'm going to do little circles here real quick because I need some dark paint. Um to make it maybe I'll tap. Mm. I just, there's gonna be like some, looks like there's little bushes and stuff back there. I don't know, maybe I'll do this. Just so it's not like a, a straight line. All right, that's fine. All righty, let's see. All right, so we said we're gonna have some stuff growing right up into here, into, the, into this rock. So I might as well drag some of this color, all right, up into there. And as a matter of fact, so now that I'm looking at this right now, I'm going to put some dark color right here because I'm, the tree it needs to be a little, I, I put the wrong placement of this trunk in, so I'm gonna put uh, some color here. And I think that's the best reason why I was thinking about sketching is because I can 
you know, it's easy to plan. If I was to start putting this tree in right now, I would be in, in trouble or I'd have to, you know, do a bunch of different things. So I'm just going to cover this real quick. And uh, I could probably, you know, I could have switched over or whatever to the three quarter, that other brush I was using, but this is fine. I mean, you know, here's how I look at it. I'm not like, I'm not in a rush and, you know, you know, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have any major plans, you know, for as long, you know, for a while. So no need to rush. All right. Now I'm going to leave some of this area maybe open over here because there's like some super bright highlights over here like in this area. So maybe I'll just drop in some color. So when this live stream, when it's, when it's all over, a um, little bump right there, I left out, I think, right there. So when this is over, I'll read back and go through all the comments and stuff. <clears throat> so I'm curious if you were doing this, like if you were painting this in acrylic, how would you be doing this, like sort of this way? Would you be making a sketch or no? You know, or would you be doing it a different way? I'm actually, I'm just curious to know that. So let me know. And when I, uh, when I come back tonight and just watch it over, you know, I can be able to see the comments. I'm filling this little bump in right here first. But I honestly didn't think, I really didn't think I was going to enjoy this at all. I thought this was going to be dreadful, but I don't, I really don't mind this actually, um, honestly. So, you know, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll split it up like on YouTube. I'll do, maybe I'll have a playlist or something, acrylic videos and oil. I don't know. It's safer. So why not, why not give it a try? This goes right like this. And you see I'm like standing pretty far back, right? I think that's so important too. When you're painting, stand back. Like don't don't be up on it, you know? That's that's bad for you. If you're up on it, it's going to really get to you. So try not to do that if you can help it. I'm going to leave this section a little bit open here because that's that brown thing and then it looks like there's another grassy hill that kind of pops like this into here. And it actually goes up a little bit. Ah, well, it doesn't have to be exact. Scooping up this dark color. Black. I keep mixing, you know, the black, blue, and green. I'm using, um, you know, a decent amount here of paint. So, just so you know, like, I don't know if you can see just how much I'm using. It's a good amount. Okay, so, that rock kind of comes to the front like that. And then we have, yeah, let me just fill this front in here and then we can start designing stuff, which will be fun. Okay. There's the other trees right there and just wraps around like this. So let me just try this one more time. So there was like a tree here, trunk there, trunk there, a little closer one here, something like that. Let's just see how that works for us. I'm just going to leave them open for a minute and then try to fill them in after the fact. If I gotta move them, I gotta move them. All right. Now I know uh, some of you guys probably know that I, I experimented around with the, uh, the golden open acrylics and they have like thinner that comes in the package and all that stuff. And you know, that was cool and all, but um, I never really gave this stuff a chance here. So, you know what? I'm just going to fill this corner in too. Why not? So, yeah, I never really gave these a chance here to see how they would work or whatever. And I may not have had to use the golden or whatever. I probably could have used another, another brand. Got to go back to the brown. Same as over here. Similar color. So, what do we have? Um, brown. We had brown, blue, uh, some black in there, and some white, right? Gave us that bluish, browny color. That base color. 
see how this looks. So this, I'm trying to get this somewhat sort of accurate. I can help it. Comes up there like that. Goes like this. Right into the land. Disappears. Need more blue and black here in the back to darken this up. And you're not going you may not be able to tell where they separate, but but I, I could see it pretty well. So you'll see it when the highlight section comes. Right there. Okay. Okay, so something I see here I gotta fix. I gotta make uh I need this to go a little bit, it's gotta kinda go up like this. A little bit higher. See that? It was like the same uh same length as that one. I didn't like that. Let me go back to the dark green and black color. And even though you can't see this behind the trees, I'm just going to lift this up just for my own personal mental satisfaction. So I know it's not there. So I know it's different height. Okay. I'm just going to put a little, actually, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some yellow. I'm just going to take some straight yellow right now. And I'm just so I can remember, so I don't forget. I'm going to drop it in. Straight up yellow paint is going to go. Right here, and I'll work with it later. I'm just going to get it in. See that? More yellow. It kind of goes wherever. This. Some of it, maybe some of it will blend in with the dark right now. That'd be pretty cool, I guess. And then we can remember we can put the dark back in. And this kind of actually this goes off. Like the land goes that way. This is the brightest area, right somewhere in there. A little darker up here. Back to the dark. Back to the dark. I'm just kind of doing this a little fast because I'm, I'm hoping to get some of the colors to blend in if I can. Like the lights and the darks. I'm just going to throw this color here. This, I'm not worried about there's trees there. And I'm going to wipe this off real quick. All right, and then what am I doing? Let's just go like this for right now, just to... Get some of it to blend in. Okay. This and remember that land is going up. See, like this goes up here. This and it goes off that way. So I guess this hill stops here. So let me get some a little bit more yellow and try to make that perspectively look okay. Um, Maybe it's a little, it goes down like this, goes into there. So I might be using um, brighter colors, um, but I can dull them down or do whatever, you know, later on. I just want to get that, that mark in there so I see what's happening. All right, so that's the land there, trees in front of that. There's another layer back there. I'm going to just hit that real quick and get that in. Um, and that's where some of this stuff's going to come into play here. There is a layer, a very, very layer, small layer, right there, kind of. This land kind of goes this, just hill after hill after hill. All right, and then I'm going to switch up to, uh, got the yellow. I'm going I'm to toss a little green into that yellow just to change the color, maybe a little yellow ochre too. All right, just so it's a little bit of a different color. And start. I'm going to start thinking about this hill here. And what I want it to do. I might change it a little bit from the original. Yeah, I feel here in a minute about it. I need some more green in there. I don't want it to be all yellow. I want it to be just a different assortment of colors. So this kind of comes down towards us like this. So it's going, see, it kind of comes right at you. And then we can start to build these colors up. Where does this go off the canvas? It goes off the canvas over here, something like this. All right, remember there's trees in front of this, you know, so I'm just trying to get the basic, uh, 
you know, just in it, like indications of, you know, there's something behind it. So I'm definitely going to be uh, leaving some dark in there, you know, so it's there. And then, yeah, we got some stuff up here, which is hmm, the other, it's a little shorter in the other painting. I'm going to darken the color a lot and just think about, you know, just, I don't know, something like this. Maybe it just really just, this is a huge, awkward looking, you know, grassy hill or something. But none of this is really going to show through. So I don't want to do too much with that. More worried about this little. You know what? I'm going to connect these two. Erase that line a little bit. That's one hill now back there. That, that actually works perfect. See? I stood back a little bit and I could see it better. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. All right. Back to. I keep thinking this is a rock, but you know, I was just learning how to make rocks back then, so still learning how to make rocks. I'm going to use brown, I'm going to use brown and white, and yellow ochre, just a tiny bit of the black first, okay? Gives us like this nice brown milky color. See how this works. I want it to be a little brighter over here, I think. So. But I want it to still like stay dark somewhat. You know, I like, I like a lot of dark in here for some reason. This one drops down like this, little rocks and boulders and stuff. Straight down. A little mark in there, maybe. I'm just touching in little spots here and a little more black. I'm going to darken this color up with some black. Now it's a little darker. Well, it doesn't look darker, but so it's a different color. Right there. And then maybe there's like a little, this area here is like, that goes into the, you know, this rock kind of goes, makes its way into the grass area. Let's do this here, just a little something. Let me just take a look at that real quick. Okay, so fine, you know, all right, okay. These trees are going to cover some of this mess up here, these couple trees on this side. All right, just the basic stuff we're getting in here. Um, and just for the sake of this being one thing, I better put some something in here just in case right it shows through right all right yellow ochre let's hide let's put a little a little bit of bright on here let's put a little bright ready yellow ochre first yeah let's just use some yellow ochre there's a little mud on my brush that's fine here we go yellow ochre just a, not probably not too much and you know probably wouldn't help if i switched up brushes every so often I've been using the same brush the whole painting. Okay. I'm just thinking about rocks or, I don't know, something. More yellow ochre. More yellow ochre. Sweet four here. And then maybe I'll top that off with some, you know, white or something. You know, just something like super little touch touch of white or something on there, I don't know. Let's go back this way, actually. I'm gonna make sure this is one piece. One piece, not two. We decided on that. Not two, not two. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. You know what? I'm putting a little here, too, just in case. My luck, it'll show through more than the other one, you know? And then we'll be like, what? Um... All right, I don't want to do any more yellow ochre. I'm hitting it with some white real quick. Uh, let me just get some white and a little bit of our... Well, there's yellow ochre on the brush, so... See what happens here. Brighten it up a little bit. I don't want too much of this bright, though. Not too much. Um, hmm. Light here. Okay, so let's say light's here, right? Something like this. Where is that going to hit? It's going to hit right here a little bit. Maybe there, there. 
I don't want to go crazy with this because this will definitely mess it up for sure. You know, something like this there. Maybe there's a touch of it here. Like that. All right, let me wipe this off real quick, and then I'm going to try to come right back. Just hit the bottom and, like, blend the bottom in so it's not, like, little blotches of paint. Mm. All right, that seems to sort of, uh, sort of work. Like I said, I'm, these, some of these things I'm just really going and trying as I go, okay? All right, I keep thinking trees are there. That's fine. Now, also, with, like, textures and things, this is only one brush. We can grab a fan brush and put other textures in, all right? So, in which we will. Um, I'm getting some of our, I just want some dark color here. A little brown, black, blue, whatever. Some dark color. And just mainly here, I want to pop a little bit of dark in real quick, just a little bit more. So it stays dark on this side there. Well, I think we're, you know, doing all right here. Moving along pretty good. This is real dark there. I'm just noticing this now. So I'm using blue and black to get a real dark value here. And there's like a little, let me make sure I get that right. There's like a little peak of something here. It kind of goes, actually goes like this. And it goes down and like this. So very, very strange uh, shape. It goes like this. go and this stuff hopefully none of it shows through and if it does we could just add more trees right okay. let's have a look all right so it's coming along so far you know what I did here I just threw the color in because it's important to get the basic color okay very very important to do that we can even add some stuff in here as a matter of fact let me show you here real quick so you see the section back here? There's light coming through there. So let's do this. I'm going to take some yellow ochre, add yellow, and just a touch of the green. Those three colors together. All right. And we can go like this real quick just to make adjustments if we want. We can kind of figure out, you know, the sun's just whipping through here, starting here. You know, we could just kind of come through like this and just kind of go like this. You know, think about the the land and not probably not too much on the on the left side because you know the sun is i don't know right here somewhere all right just kind of whip it through here and i'm I'm still leaving a lot of the dark in because i think that's important all right and i don't know what this is here maybe there's a ditch right there i'm not sure maybe i should just add some color over it i'm gonna get a little bit more green on there and just kind of Leave dark in there. Dark, dark, dark. But you see, like, you can add these little, these little colors like that right there. You see, and it kind of whips right through the valley. All right, and if you want to really brighten it up, which we're going to do stuff like that towards the end once we make the trees and all that. But let me watch this. I'm going to grab yellow and white. And I, I know there's a few areas we want the sun. And one of them is going to be right there, top of this hill. The sun's peeking in. Right there, like this. See? All right. Kind of comes up. And I keep thinking about um, the land, like which way the land is going for little brush strokes and things like this. You know, there's there, there. Just like this. You know, something like that there. And then if you want, take a little dark color. You could take a little dark if you really want to and just kind of come back and, and clean the bottoms of this up. Because something that I definitely figured out here today is that it's much easier to come back and put dark in after the fact. And you see, I'm, it's already dry. I'm smoothing over it with the brush. So you can do stuff like that to just figure out where you're going. And then I put white in it back there and less pure color because it's a little bit more pale back there. And then up here is more pure color. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see what we're doing next. Let's see what we're going to do next on this lovely Friday night. <clears throat> All right. So I, I try to keep things simple. I don't want to, you know, waste time. We already know there's trees here and trees here. So I'm wondering, 
maybe we should start to drop in the basic tree shapes, okay? And then maybe we can work around that. What do you think? I think that would be probably a good idea. Okay. All right. And I'm going to pop down here at the comments. I'm sorry I haven't yet. I'm just, I'm, I'm seriously, like, I'm really trying to focus to make sure that I have a, a grip on what's going on here and I don't embarrass myself. Um, yeah, trees. All right, let's do this. Let's do the, let's start with the trees on this side. Now, I'm just going to go from what I did in the other painting. It's, it's not probably what I would do today. Maybe I'll change a few things. All right, so we're going to put the, the little background trees in first. So I'm going to take uh, some brown, black, and a touch of blue, and a touch of white. And that should give us a nice background color for, for a tree, like a tree trunk. The soft color, the light color. We can darken it if we need to. Still using this good old filbert. I'll see how, I might switch back to the, the flat one. All right, so we have these go all the way off the canvas. So let's get them in. Here we go. Here we go. Start with, these are in the far back. So the, there's one here. Let's go like this. They don't have to be perfect because I can barely see them, and I'm standing right in front of the original picture. So I'm not going to, like, uh, stress about it too bad. Um, one there. There's, like, some stuff that goes off like this. There. I'm just putting little whatevers in just you know so in case it does show through not worried about the base of the trees this is just the first row okay looks like there may be one more in the background over here somewhere like this so I guess what I'm what I'm saying here is like don't um, I I personally wouldn't spend a lot of time on a background tree in this case here you know so. see I'm just dragging a few things like this out just in case just in case it does show through I don't know you know maybe there's ones way back here I'm just using this little filbert little yeah it's working pretty good okay see all right I think that's good for those three backgrounds I'm going to move. There's ones like directly in front of it. So I'm going to go right to them for right now. There's one, two, three. Okay. So I'm going to darken the color. I use black, brown, and blue and white. So now I'm going to use black, brown, blue, and a tiny bit of white or almost no white. Dark. And this tree stops somewhere right around here like that. So, I, and originally I added the leaves back here first. I'm just going to add them, those two layers all at the same time because I think that'll, that'll be better. Okay, here we go. Let's just drop this one in here. I'll start with the one on the right. It goes like this. Oh, I've got to flatten the brush. I almost didn't chisel it. Probably would help. All right, all right. Make this one bigger. Now I'm going to have to go over this a couple times because of the brush that I'm using, the small brush. Small. See, I like already took out the tree in the back already that I made. See, I was saying don't waste too much time on that. Waste too much time. One there. There's another one that grows right in it. Getting the color in. So you see how like loose I'm making these trees, like the, getting the trunks in nice and loose. I'm not. I'm not worried too much here. I'm not trying to, you know, stress too much. Now, this is going to grow down the hill like this. The trunk is going to kind of go downwards if it shows. That'll just blend in and we'll, highlights will take care of that. Um, what do we have for branches? I'm sure we have a few branches. I just can't see them. So I'll drop a few in. Nice one right there. Maybe we'll put one over here and it grows like this. Little things like this. This filbert uh, actually works pretty good. I, li I like this filbert. So that's just like a clump of trees right there. And then I'm trying to take a good look because I can't see to the back. Like right here, there's like nothing. Like because there's that big tree in the front and there's almost nothing 
behind it, you know. So what do I do? What do I do? Um, let me do this. I'm going to take some white and take that tree trunk color, white and blue, and I'm really going to lighten it up. And just in case, I'm going to, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to drop in maybe something that would, you know, be really far, I don't know, right there somewhere. I'm probably wasting my time. I just put some white on my brush to soften that. So let's just say something shows through. Maybe that'll look like a tree back there. All right. Okay. All right. Next, next, next. Um, I'm going to, let me hit this tree real quick with a tiny bit of highlight. You're not going to really see much up there. So I'm going to take some yellow ochre and some white and the mud that's on my brush already, which is some brown and blue. I'm gonna, that should be enough color to kind of separate um, one side from the other on the tree trunk. All right, I'm gonna be super, um, what's the word? Uh, kind of like loose about this, just to get, you know, some highlight on the side here. Boy, this paint's getting dry quickly. Here. That to go like this. Okay. Put the heck over there too, just in case. A little highlight. It works. We can put that, we can even go lighter if we want to. Let's just say you wanted one of them, you know, you wanted one tree to really stand out. Watch this. Some brown, white, brown, white, and uh, some yellow ochre. Check this out. Ready? Let's make a little area stand out on here. So which tree is it going to be? Maybe this one, because that one may not show back there, because we're going to, we're going to kill them with a new one. So let's do this. Let's start here. This tree kind of comes down. Goes right like that. Now watch. This. Soften the back of this tree real quick. Okay. Root grow down. Just give them a little bit here too. I guess it's one his friend. Okay, so that's just like a very loose uh, brush strokes, but they're lighter on that one side. Okay, let me just take a look. That's a kind of a weird angle for me. All right, now I can see something right away. Let me get some paper towels. I see something right away that I didn't like on the other one, uh, which was I thought it didn't have enough dark. So let me grab, I'm gonna get any old dark, some blue and black, doesn't really matter, some brown, whatever, just some dark, dark color. And I wanna see how this looks. I just wanna put a little bit of dark here, right? For some nice contrast. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see this. Make a little bump on the tree, right? Like that. Okay. There. And then I'll just kind of work that together just a little bit. Fix that there. Dark, dark. Okay. Can you see that? I hope you guys can see that. So I just wanted it to be, I wanted it to stand out a little bit more compared to the one in the back. See? A little dark. Maybe this root goes all the way down the darn uh, hill here. Now remember, if people have serious questions they want to ask, make sure you ask them because I'll watch this entire thing back tonight when I'm like hanging out and chilling out. I'll watch it. Um, all right, let's, let's throw some leaves up here on, on here, just some background leaves because this tree in the front is huge. Huge. All right, I'm going to wipe this. Uh, I, I'm still using this filbert, so I don't know if that's good or bad. Maybe, uh, hopefully, it's good for for you guys because it's something that's uh, simplified. You know what I mean? It's a little easier. All right. All right, background leaves. Background leaves. I'm going to try starting with this filbert here. 
And uh, mm, it looks like uh, on this painting, they look a little like a mud, mud green. Okay, let's start mixing. So I'm going to take, I'm going to use some sap green. I'm going to use pr uh, some Prussian blue. Sap green, blue, maybe a touch of black. Maybe a touch of black. Maybe I'll drop a little yellow ochre in there. See what that looks like. I don't know. Ochre, let me steal some cad yellow. Mix that in. It looks getting close. Close. Okay. All right. So we'll start off with a middle color first. Okay. And then we'll do what we got to do. Um, middle color. So what am I doing here? I'm just going to, I'm just going to start dropping in. I'm just doing right now. Look, I'm just doing these little circles. All right. I do, I do this a lot with other paintings because it just, it helps me. Um, and that just seems to help me. Little circles. And then you can like do what you want after that. Just refine it or whatever. And these leaves go pretty far down. Um, there's a big clump here. There's a cross there. So once again, I'm just trying to block in the, uh, you know, the basic areas that have the color, the basic color, I should say. And I always, I always say this, like, I think if, I always say this, if you watch the, my videos, you know I say this, like, just get the color down, get it down, and then work with it, you know, get it down, and then work with that color, it's, it can be done, a little branch and limb or something that sticks out this way, you see, make sure it goes in front of this little, that hill back there, see, mountain, it goes in front of there, all right, I'm going to pick up a little bit dark, and now I'm going to get some blue, black, and green. I'm going to darken our leaf color up here real quick. For over here, I want it to be a little darker. I got to cover up some of this background here, so this way, some of that's covered up. I know the tree is going to do some, but I'd feel more prepared if I did a little self. Let some of the sky show through. I'm going to kill some of this trunk right here. In some areas, it looks too harsh. But you see, I'm just pushing and just kind of setting the brush down. And it seems to be doing okay so far. There's a big contraption that goes out that way. So let me lighten my color up here. Not go so dark when we get out there. Where are we at? Right here. Like this, this kind of just pops out into the sky. Yes. And there's a tree in front of this. Don't forget. Don't forget. I'm just trying to put the stuff that I see, you know, in the sky. So, so this way it's there. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Go. You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm like super pleased with uh, this paint so far. If anybody wants to know. Super happy about it. Let me get some white up in here. I'm going to lighten this color up real quick light pale green super light pale green and i'm going to wipe it off real quick actually because i see something that i want to make sure it's not going to be a problem there's that tree going right there let me just do this see those trees that remember i said could be back there maybe they are maybe they aren't so watch Now, there's definitely trees back there. Okay. Throw a ray this way. Right in behind all this stuff. Could have put them in first, but we'll see, they're there now. See? Good to go. Moving right along. All right, I don't want to do too much more with the leaves. I'm going to put some light color in there because I see it. So let's do that now. So yellow, let's take some yellow and green, pretty much yellow, green, maybe a touch of black. Anybody notices, I, it seems like I put a touch of black in a lot of stuff because I feel like it makes it more earth looking, earthy. So yellow ochre too, why not? I feel like it makes it just better color. And so it's, I like vibrant, but I like it to look, you know, not like eye piercing. Um, okay, what are we doing, right? I'm just going to do whatever. I'm going to just... You know, figure out the little dark clumps that, you know, areas that I have and then 
just try to get some white mixed in with that somewhere. You know, a lot of this stuff is going to be behind the big be behind the big tree, but just in case. So we have right here. Make sure some is there in front of the trunk. You know, I don't want the whole area though to be like you know one big bright leaf. Just so somebody could like identify that there's a few different colors going on. So let's grab some yellow ochre and some green. Um, I see that in there somewhere. Let's do this. Some hair there. I hope this is looking good on your guys' screen because I'm right in front of it and uh, it's, it's, it's really hard to tell, you know, what, what's going on. Um, all right, so I think let's just hold with this for a second and let's move over to here. Okay, let's move to here and let's work on some of our uh, grass, okay, over here going upward. All right, so the best way to probably I'm going to do this is I'm going to take uh, a dark color. So let's take some green and some yellow ochre cad yellow the so green cad yellow and ochre and um, even a little black and blue just to dull that a little bit real quick dull it and figure out where that land goes here we go long pile of paint all right so what I see on this other painting is, it kind of goes up here like this. I'm just doing a very light mark because I don't want it to be super bright. And it kind of goes uphill here in the back. All right, up, up, up like this. And it kind of wraps around in the front and then it kind of goes up this way. Like this, okay. So I'm just kind of giving a little sketch here where I'm gonna put little highlights and stuff and I'll see what brush I'm gonna use for that. Um, I definitely want to indicate uh, where the tree kind of comes down. So I'm probably okay with using uh, the colors like brighter a little bit. So maybe it helps you guys see them a little better, hopefully. I'll just use that for my excuse to make the colors brighter. So right off the edge of this tree trunk, we'll drop down the hill like this. I'll put some grass right in there. And I'm going to put some dark back in there too, so... figuring out right now like where does this land go like you know it comes down drops up whatever up down sideways left right whatever um i don't want this to be too noticeable here okay i'm not doing nothing there yet let's work just continually work on this side all right i think it's about time that um grab the different brush so I'm going to grab this little three fan brush number three that I have here number three fan brush and it looks like I tapped in some grass maybe so I'm going to do a real tar a real dark uh, dark color I'm going to use um, sap green and yellow ochre and some I guess some black or blue whatever this pile is black and blue. I don't want it to be real bright but I just want to tap in a little bit of uh, like grass or something see right here that'll be behind the tree it'll be tougher to put it in after the fact so i'm pushing up with the fan brush this color i'll leave a lot of dark in this one okay push up push up seems to be working. it's like about time there's another texture in this painting i was getting worried like uh, am i going to finish the whole thing with the little micro filbert that i'm using some yellow ochre change that color just a little bit i want to put some texture here or uh, grass i mean not texture i want this hill to be growing down like this and i like i said i'm okay with using a little bit brighter colors so this way i know you know you guys can maybe see it better um than if i was to use standard old dark colors even though this is in the shadow, so 
but it's all right. Got that going. Let's grab some more of that color on this fan brush, and I got to put something over here because it just definitely helps to have more than one texture. I gotta be careful because there's other colors up here. So let me put a little texture in right about there, maybe. And here in the front. And we can brighten this up if we want to. I'm just pushing up with the fan brush, seems to be working. All right. Okay, so that's cool. Different texture. Um, let me do one thing. I'm getting some straight yellow. Straight up yellow on the fan brush. This is going to be super bright. Right? Because that sun is somewhere right there. Yeah, that's awesome. I like that. Nice. And what? Let's put some here too. Now you can see it. Just a little bit in areas. Because there's a tree going here, remember? But if some of this uh, stays, it'll, it'll just be behind it. Oh, yeah. So now I'm getting uh, a little carried away with that bright color, but it looks pretty cool. We can take it out if we need to. All right, let's put that down real quick. Actually, you know what? I keep forgetting I had to wash it out real quick because it'll, uh, it'll dry up and be no good for when we use it again. Okay. All right, here we go. Back to the filbert. Um, let's start doing these trees over here. Uh, there's okay. So as far as what I can see right here, there's really no background trees, um, which I guess that's fine because maybe it's just whatever too far. So I'm going to drop in these trees here. So brown and black. There, these are closer. So I'm just using brown and black on the little called a micro filbert for right now, and chisel that just a little bit better. Chisel it. Okay. Um, you know what, I'm going to start with the one that goes all the way off the canvas. That's this one here. It just goes, whew, start here. I'm just going to start right there like this. And then just work it down. I'm going to have to reshape this one a few times. I can see that already. No problem. Problem. You know, I'm actually thinking about making it a little bit bigger than the other painting because I think it would look better. I think the other one was a little off. Okay. Dad, let's put a little trunk right there. Dark, dark, dark right there. This goes this way. Yeah, it goes right out like that. trying to make that look like it goes that way okay <clears throat> and then there's another one right next to it so let's just drop that one in and then you know just kind of build from there really just get the element in and go from there this one doesn't go off the canvas so he looks like he's a little further back so right there just put it in drop it in don't even think about it This one is definitely a little behind the, the other guy, so I'm still going to fill it in. Just brown is fine. Or, you know, you can put some grass color back there if you want, whatever. Maybe we'll put a little separator grass in there. And... All right, so let me actually look at this and see where that other tree should go. Maybe a little right there, maybe. Just a little higher, I guess. Be fine a little bigger something like that and we'll give let's give them a <clears throat> you know branch or two he has a branch it's like a bunch of liner branches on the original Maybe right there he this guy here he has a couple I'm making bigger branches on this guy too because there's really uh, not many on the other one. And I keep reloading. 
that's why I keep going down and reloading. A little light touch with this, you can get like little li liner type looking uh, uh, branches with this little micro filbert. Seems to do a pretty good job with that. So these trees are together, but this one is behind it. So let's do. Hmm. You know what I got to make him. I got to make this one just super noticeable. He is in front because bother me. Okay. Now, now you can tell he's. I want to put a branch on. I want to put a branch on this big, big one here. But it's going to cut right over. Watch this. It's going to cut right. It's going to cut right over in front of that tree. You can't see it now, but maybe when I highlight it, you'll be able to see it. It goes right in front. You know, if I was, I would have. I don't know. I guess these trees are fine or whatever. I, I maybe would have placed them differently, but I'm. I am trying to just kind of go off of, you know, uh, one of my earlier, you know, pictures or whatever. All right, I'm not going to mess too much there. So let me stretch my arm real quick because my arm has a cramps in it. Um, I'm just going to start highlighting this real quick. <clears throat> so I'm going to wipe this off and start off with, I'm going to take, let me make a new pile, some brown, just brown and white and a little yellow ochre to start. Brown, white, little yellow ochre, and then we can probably build from there. Brown, white, yellow ochre. Yep, looks about right. Okay, so let's do this. Let's start from, yep, yeah, I'll start halfway and then I'll go back up. Start right here, drop that in, and I wanna come right out here. Need more paint. Stick to the outside. I'm just gonna highlight this nicely on the outside and then just build right up. Just trying to get the whole trunk done so I can actually like, so I can blend it in. Maybe the top has less highlights. So now I'm going to kill the back line. See that? Just so it kind of goes into the tree trunk. It's not a straight line. I need some more white in that pile of brown. White. Let's make it a little brighter. We're going to make this tree stand out a little bit more than the other ones. Okay. Hopefully so you guys can see what's going on here. I'm going to hold the brush a little different. Oh, like this. Maybe he has two roots. One is kind of coming towards us. And here we go. Remember the branch that goes in front of the other tree that I was just telling you about? <clears throat> Watch. Here he comes. He's going to come down like this. I'm just highlighting it now. And he goes right into the front of the tree. So I'm going to wipe this real quick and then watch. Let me do this. I'm just going to kind of dilute, dilute or distort, kill the line on the back of this branch. Kill it. Kill that line. Same here. Kill it. Bring it into the rest of the tree trunk. Bring it into the rest of the tree, and it'll it'll start to maybe appear like a you know a tree trunk, like a rounded trunk is what I'm trying to say. See that little line, sideways lines and stuff. All right, so we're building the color up right now. I better get on the other tree because I gotta do that too before the brown dries all the way. Let me just drop a highlight on him real quick right there. Go a little brighter. Kind of do two steps in one. He has a branch that comes like that. Let's hit the top. Right here. Okay. A little highlight there. All right, same thing. I'm going to wipe this off and just kill this line right here. I'm sort of like dragging it over to the right because that's where the shadow is. It's going to get like darker you know, and darker as you go over. Just make little different textures and stuff in it. Just little brush strokes is what I mean. I'm gonna fix that right there, okay? All right, now, so that's just a basic highlight right there. So now I want this tree to stand out a little bit more. So let me get some more color. I wanna get uh, white and yellow ochre. Those two colors, white, yellow ochre, okay? Let's just, uh, for, we said we were having fun with color. So let's just make this color or this tree. I really want this, you know, there's some bright color going here. Let's just make it stand out. I think it'll be good. Maybe it doesn't go all the way up. Maybe it's just whew, like the lower half of the tree. So maybe we'll put a little spot of it there. 
this. Not everywhere. Let's do this. There we go. I'm rolling this brush all the way down. I'm going to hurry up and get more color because I only have a few seconds here to do this. Get a spot in a little, little of that color here so it don't look weird. Maybe a little right there. And you know what? Just for the heck of it, I'm just going to drop some right up there too. Okay. We have enough here. Here we go. You know what? Might as well just give him some too right here. Just not as much. Now watch. I'm going to wipe it off again. I'm going to wipe it off. And then I'm going to just take this and just carefully, uh, you know, make it not look like a straight line. It would be the best way I can describe that to you. And leave some of the dark in here. Just right into the ground over there. And I keep going to the, to the uh, right, to the left, because it, it is picking up some of that brown and bringing it back. And it's just softening it really nice, actually. This is drying quickly, though, here. So i got to hurry up on this one. And there is leaves going on here, too. So we can always cover stuff up. Or we can always put dark back in it. All right. But I think that's pretty cool. I think this is actually working pretty, pretty good. Better than what I was thinking. Okay. All right, so there's that highlight. It looks pretty good. And if you really want to go crazy, you can actually get like, you know, like some straight white if you want, just to, you know, let's see, right? Maybe a little there, but not all the way up the tree for this, for sure. And you know what, maybe a little there. That may have been uncalled for, but whatever. Let's see how it looks. I want you guys to see uh, extra bright color, okay? Some lines there, there, this. I'm working a little fast because it's, it is drying pretty quick. Just trying to put little shapes in this tree real quick. Okay, let me stand back and look real quick. <clears throat> yeah, all right, not bad. Um, let me just get some of this brown here because this is bothering me real quick. Just a, it looks like it stopped right there and that hill's right there, so I didn't want that. I'm just going to actually put a little bit of bright color right there. Right, and I'm going to have to put some dark back into this. Here we go. Some brown and some black. Brown, black, blue, nice dark color. And go right here like this. I'm just going to drop some dark back in. This is what I was talking about before. Super easy, getting a lot of good texture when you're doing that. And sometimes it'll actually look better when you do this. Okay. Let's go up here and put some so it matches all the way up the tree. I hope you guys can like see what I'm what I'm talking about with this. Like, see how I'm putting the dark back in. Just let me know if you can actually see that. Um, this goes in the front. You know, and then you can always just play around with it and readjust stuff and just you know fix things. Like, if you want some light right here, it's just easy to put it back in. You know, you have too much light in. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time on that tree. All right, so let's drop some some leaves in this tree. It's the other one is very unique. It looks like a like a pine tree. So I'm gonna change that up a little bit just to try to make it look, you know, like a little bit more little leaves. Mm. All right, so let's get some color. I'm gonna get some green, uh, green, black, and blue. Probably start with that color. Maybe a touch of the cadmium yellow. Uh, yeah, yellow ochre. Is just one. Yellow ochre is a good color. Just you know, to start as a base color mixed in with those colors. All right, let's see how this looks. Let's see how this looks. Now I do want this to be. I don't want it to. This is closer, so I'm just gonna go. I'm not even gonna think about it. I'm just gonna. Yep. Sometimes that's what you just have to do. What I, you know, right there. Just you stand here and think about it all night, and you're just gonna be like, oh man, what? What am I doing? So yeah, look, see, I'm just getting the color in. This is a very good way to do 
to do that. You get the color in and then you can work with it. And it, it really does work. Just don't go out of control. Leave a couple spots showing through in the sky, like a couple of the blue areas and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna drag some this way out this way. I keep loading more color on. Um, got something going on here too. It's kind of going out like that. A little clump, some sort of right there. It goes in the front. Okay. This is just the dark part. The dark part of the uh, the leaves. All right, now uh, this is where I have to make that decision and figure out what. Uh, hmm. What am I doing here? How do I want to shape this thing? Is what I'm thinking about right now. And I want some leaves this way. I want them this way too. But I don't want it to look awkward. It might be too late for that. But I'm just, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm just gonna I'd lighten that color up just a little bit. Maybe have some leaves hanging down like this. Go up this way. Okay. This is just like a clump right here. Okay. Some in here. Just getting the basic idea of what I want to do. I'm not making it exactly like the other tree. Because I, I don't think I ever really fully liked that other tree that I made. But it was a tree that I made very early on after I started painting. So, you know, I'm, I didn't want to beat myself up too bad over that. So, um, need some more stuff in here. So, all I'm going to do here is just make sure that uh, some of the blue spots uh, the sky shows through rather than worry about like a shape or anything i'm just going to make sure little areas show through okay same with back here all the way like this down here things come this way and drop right in, i'm going to have them drop right in front here like this little clump drops down like that okay I'm just trying to figure out if I should extend this a little bit or just kind of keep it where it's at before we start to highlight it. Um, I don't want to kill too much of the background, you know, so maybe we'll leave it somewhat like it is and we'll see how it looks. Well, let, me, let me look at it before I go highlighting it. Um, okay, yeah, let's highlight this. Let's highlight, let's highlight. All right, so I'm going to just grab, I'm going to grab some yellow, add yellow, and there's some green in there, but it's a, it's a pretty bright color. I don't want to go too, too bright yet. All right. <clears throat> All right. Still using the micro filbert. Um, thinking about, what am I thinking about? I'm just going to start over here. See how this looks. Little leaves and stuff. I'm just doing like little presses with this. This is a bright color, um, <clears throat> brighter than probably I would normally use right now. But like I said a few minutes ago, I want you to see some color. I need to actually see some color because color is good. Color is great to have, to see all that stuff. A little darker in here maybe just because whatever. This is the background, not in the background, it's behind, kind of more in shadow. I'm going to darken it just a little bit, a little bit, and some stuff here, right in front of that trunk. See, I'm really, if you, if you can see what I'm doing, I'm doing like these little swirly looking things is sort of what I'm doing. All right, let me look at that real quick. Okay, it's a yellow. This is a little brighter. And I think I want to... Just brighten up a few little spots where the sun might be ripping through. Maybe it's catching some on the uh, branches as it's coming through here. Like this. Need some more. I want it to be really bright. Noticeably bright. Okay, there we go. Hello, yellow. Mm. Um, not up here, just here. Maybe some sneaking through right there. Uh, right in front of that little hill there. Good, good. 
just going to I'm going to split this up a little bit. Yeah, so it looks more leafy. I don't want it to be like just a perfect circle bush looking thing. Okay. Let me have a look at this. Not bad. What do you guys think so far? You got to when I read the <clears throat> when I get back, when I watch this back tonight and see all the comments, which I will. That's why I'm asking you, like, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. How's it look at this point or that point? I will see every comment. So if you have a super severe question, like that you really need to know that it's not going to get missed or answered, make just shoot me an email or something or a text or whatever. Um, the sun's coming through. What do you think? Uh, just in case, let's do this. Let's just pop a little bit of this color here, right? What do you think? Maybe? Yeah? No? It's already there now. Is that other trees going in? I don't know. Maybe some of it will show through. You see how loose this is? I'm super impressed with this, uh, with this paint. I'm not even going to lie. Super, super impressed. Super impressed. Who is that? Oh, Lydia M. I so appreciate the positivity you give. Your art is so awesome. This big orange thing just like flashed in my face. Thank, thanks, Lydia. I appreciate it. Listen, if I don't know if, if anybody else did on here, I've really been focused on this painting. I will read everything back tonight. All right. Just if anybody has, like I said, any questions or anything, I, I didn't miss anything. I will see it all tonight. <clears throat> uh, something that we need to do here. Okay. Um, blue and white shadow. Blue, white, maybe just a touch of black. We got to put a, um, I want to put a little reflected shadow this is just for looks this isn't for any kind of like actual maybe you probably wouldn't see this in nature at all maybe you would i don't know but this is for looks people maybe will like to see this in a painting right here see that blue right there you'll have to drop me a comment tell me if you can see this see that it goes right down this is just a cool shadow and i'm exaggerating the shadow because i think it looks awesome <clears throat> and while we're at it, this even though this might not show through, look, it's going to drop one or two here. See that? Okay. Um, okay, next. So we're going to move on to, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to move on to this big tree over here, okay? We are going to move on to this big tree. But hmm, before we do that, i got to do something here. We got that yellow. Remember we put the yellow down earlier? Let's grab... A pile of white paint. I gotta find a clear spot over here somewhere. So I'm gonna grab white and yellow. More yellow than white. And I want to take this color right here and just put it in, I don't know, one or two. It's already yellow, but this is a little brighter. I want to, right where that sun is coming through it, see this? This is a little brighter. I'm going to keep reloading because I really want this sun burning through here. It's just picking up the very, very bright spots in, in this area here. Okay. It's like this. Now, I'm going to hurry up and I'm going to wipe that off real quick. And I'm going to come down to the bottom and just, I'm just going to blend it in a little bit before it dries. See that? that and drag some of it over and then we already determined that this is more shadow on the left side I guess maybe there's a little highlight here see I just stole some from the pile and it's working its way uphill see that take some more from there and then amazing I like this do little circles look like a little bushy effects or something down there see okay, so that's cool there okay what do we got next what do we got next we have um i see some yellow ochre over here like a greenish dark yellow ochre color over here but i gotta be careful because i don't want it to be bright over here you know what i mean just a little highlight so you guys can see it maybe so i'm there just a, it's like a little like a little tinge of uh of yellow ochre so Right. Put some there. We're about to move on to this big tree here, guys, in a minute. <clears throat> Just dropping a little bit of that there. And 
Let me see, let me see. Okay. Here. We need here. We need something here. Something's gotta happen here. So I need some green. Second. Need some green. Okay. Dark green, little blue. I think this will be a good shadow color. Green and blue. Dark. 50 50 looks like here. I'm going to drop in a few uh, little dark spots here. See how this looks. Straight up to our areas that are highlighted. Contrast is a nice thing to have. So this is just blue and green. <clears throat> just thinking about areas that are, I got to see how that looks. Um, this is all dark here too. I'm going to just fill this in real quick. Now, this here. Here's what my thoughts are on... Hmm. So this is going to make a shadow here. I'm just now I'm just trying to real quickly try to correct uh, some of the areas, right, that where the shadows technically would really be. Okay, so I'm not going to spend much time. I'm just showing you that I'm doing that. I'm trying to. Right. Now I got to get back to that yellow color because I done uh, made a mess here. This. So I got to get back to that yellow and, and blend. I'm going to blend the shadows in so it's like a softer transition to dark. See? But I'm still leaving the dark. It's just like a nice transition. Not sure if you could even see that. How smooth that was. Here we go. Fix that, bring that back. So you stretched over more. Just covered it up. And it's bright. That, that is super bright. I don't know how bright it looks on the camera, but man, that is bright in person. All right. Okay, let me rip this paper towel off real quick. All right, so I think uh, let's, uh, let's, let's pop in this big tree, okay? Now I think for that, let me wipe this off real quick. I think the best way is gonna be using the bigger brush, okay? <clears throat> I hope you guys are, uh, I hope you guys are liking this so far. You know, I hope you're, whatever, enjoying this. I always like to watch uh, YouTube and different things, you know, art stuff rather than, I don't watch the news anymore. Okay. All right, so I'm going to use this flat brush because I feel like it's going to, it's going to get quicker coverage for this tree. <clears throat> okay, so brown and I got to get running out of black. So I just got to drop a little bit down there real quick. Brown and black. Yeah, see, this is a much better brush to at least get the basic design in, and then you can change it up. All right, so I don't want to. I want to show some of this now. At this point, now I want to think about out here. This looks like an old dead tree that just comes down. I used to make a lot of dead trees when I first started painting. A lot of dead. All my trees were dead because I was dead inside when I started painting. Literally, here we go, right down. Comes this way. I'm gonna keep reloading. It'll be easier if I reload <clears throat> every uh, couple inches. Down like this. And then I'm gonna bring it right to there, maybe. And then whew, just like that. All right, now this has 
another. I'm just going to push harder and make it bigger. Leave a little spot so the other tree shows. That's going to go right. Not pretty good so far. Okay, get a, some dark color there. More black. <clears throat> and then uh, the other branch is going to come. Where's this thing meet? I'm like halfway. Let's go like this. I'm just going to get it in there. And then it comes down. There we go. I'm just trying to get this basic shape in here, and then I can change it if I need to. Alright. Definitely goes downhill like this. Maybe a little this way. Now I'm like, I always think about the angles whenever you know I get towards the bottom and stuff. Guy runs right. He sort of goes out that way, I think. So we fix the back half of that tree. Make it a little bit better looking. Come down like this. Put a little bubble a little bubble in the back of this tree i don't care i'm going to make a weird looking tree if it's going to be dead it's going to be weird looking you know what i mean it's not going to be like this beautiful dead it's going to be a awkward looking tree um <clears throat> all right so there's a few branches i'm going to pop some of these in real quick with like the basic you know just the basic uh branches with this flat brush while i have it while i have it out and then maybe we can um use the other brush to get little branchy things and i think what i'm going to do here is um okay uh, this is this is the part where you got to really make decisions um i'm gonna go like this i'm gonna change it up i'm gonna come down watch this i'm gonna come into here and i'm gonna go right like that okay i'm just i don't know why i just did it so i hope you guys are good with it i hope you're good with it put a little little something there a little slice here and there like that <clears throat> now I can't get too detailed with these uh you know with this here but with this brush I mean you know but I'm trying to do at least the basic stuff okay and I think so far hopefully this tree is you know doing all right better than the other one maybe maybe not just keep reloading and reloading and reloading <clears throat> oh there's that bright orange color again oh Absolutely gorgeous work. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. I've seen it out of the corner of my eye. That's like, I don't know if anybody else sees that color. It's like, it's like vivid orange. Um, little branch, maybe right here. Just because there was a light color in the back there. And it sneaks in front of that light color and it ends up looking uh, pretty good. So now I'm thinking about something off of the canvas. I remember I said this is a weird tree. Let's do, <clears throat> you know what? There's a little baby tree that grows like this. Okay, it kind of grows just off whatever into the ground somewhere right there. And let's put a little branch there. And one there and one there. And I got to stop with the, that. All right, <clears throat> I hope you guys are liking this so far. I'm doing, I'm having fun. <clears throat> all right i'm just going to probably just keep using the flat brush okay i'm going to get some let me get some highlight color here i'm just going to put it on the inside here so you guys can see it change it up i'm going to use some yellow ochre and a, a little bit of brown and a little bit of white okay let's see what this gives us here okay it's not a super super bright color but here we go so man the light's going this way but i want you to see this so watch this. I'm just going to all the way down. And I'll work with it in a second. So, um, right. I want you to be able to see like the actual, because this is all dark in here. And it's very hard to understand where this is going. So like, here. Here. So I can't even see where it's going. I'm standing in front of it branch there a big old branch there's a little glare next to me so okay. 
I'm just getting this color dropped in. You know, and then we'll <clears throat> then we'll change it up and stuff. Okay. Nice, easy, slice it in, whatever. Give the little guy back here something. Let me take a let me take a look at this real quick. All right, so far not too bad. I'm going to wipe this off real quick and see if I can um, just kill the back edge of this, just so it doesn't look so harsh on some of these areas here. I'm trying to be quick about it. This one here. All right. Yeah, now we're going to brighten it up now. <clears throat> White and. Yellow ochre, maybe a little red. Let's try some of that. We didn't try any little bright red. Let's see what that does. That ought to be a cool mixture. There's a tiny bit of red. This is going to look like a, maybe like a pink highlight. I don't know. <clears throat> Let's do it right here. Maybe I won't follow the whole, uh, the whole tree down. I'll just put it in some of the areas. Um, I don't know. Here, here. Definitely down there so you guys can see it. There we go. Yeah, it's a nice little color. I like it. Sweet. Now I'm going to wipe this off. And. Oh, yeah, that's working. That's actually working really good. I'm not sure if you can see that, but <clears throat> excuse me, I can see this. And yeah, that actually ended up being a really pretty good color. It just looks right um, in, per you know, in person. I don't know how it looks on the camera. Let's see here. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Yep, I'm gonna get a little bit more of that color because I like what's happening here. See, I didn't realize this was gonna actually happen, but I, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna try to make you guys see uh like what this tree is really doing look like it's a little it's different than the original okay all i'm doing is slicing this color in this and i'm going to soften i think you're going to get the idea here in a minute if anybody can see what this tree is doing let me know i'll read it tonight in the comments <clears throat> when i watch the video back Okay, let me take a step back and look at that, and then I gotta get some dark now. Straight, I'm just gonna get straight up uh, black paint here real quick, and I'm right here, I'm gonna drop, actually, let me get some blue too. Black and blue. <clears throat> so make sure I have some nice dark color right there. Shadow, here, there, and right here. So if you were wondering what I was, I was trying to give it a little twisty look, like the tree grew a little crooked or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> so hopefully it looks good so far. So, um, oh man, my arm is killing me. Um, quick question I was going to ask you. Oh, you know what? I almost actually forgot something. Hold on. Hold on. Let me find that little fan brush and see. Let me set this down real quick and get us... All right, so I have, uh, I want to do something. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to do it, but you guys might like it, so let's do it. I'm gonna, I got me some nice uh, quinacridone, 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 I don't even know if I'm saying it right, magenta. It's like a purple color. I should have just said purple. Here we go. I wanted to do this all night. Ready? I'm going to get the fan brush here, and not worried about proper colors tonight. Okay, but let's do, in this other original picture, there was some of this going on somewhere in there. There was little, little flowers and things. Wipe that off a little bit. Get a touch of the blue in there. Mix that up properly. Make it more of a bluey purple, okay, to give it like a good little effect. There was like little, little flowers and stuff growing all over the place. 
little white in there. Mix it up. Oh yeah, here we go. Pretty little, see, little purple flowers. That's good. This is working good. Working good. And there's some growing over here. I'm just touching around. Touching around like this. The fan brush. You know, just whatever. Little flowers from the other one. I thought that was pretty cool. You can get a little lighter color too, just to mix it up. So there's, or you could just tap like this. I don't want to put too many flowers in. Maybe some back here, just so they don't just grow up front. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Feel some of that dark red color. And there was a few here, looks like here. I'm just trying to get these in real quick so they're in. A couple, watch this, big flower right here in the corner. Nice, I like that one. Ooh, look at that. That's like a, what kind of flower is that? It's a, it's a fan brush flower. Okay. See? Let me wipe this off. That's enough. I just wanted to do that. I thought that was pretty cool. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it or not, but I did it. Okay. All right, where is my other, where's my flat brush? There it is. Okay, back to the flat brush now. I think uh, before, let me wipe that off. All right, I just got to lighten up one little spot with some white and a little bit of that you know, pink color that we used for the original highlight. Let me just, real quick. I just feel like it needs to be brighter just in one spot. Like just so we can kind of, we know that this is the edge of the tree right here. See? No, this is the edge. Just so there's no confusion. And we know this is a, another edge. This is another edge. Make some straight word lines. <clears throat> and bring that down. I'm going to put some grass in here. Just put a little something here. A little su uh, subtle something. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Choo -choo. Yep. Hmm. And you know what? I think since we have it in the other tree, maybe we should have it in this tree here too, right? It's a little bit, maybe. I don't want to go overboard. I don't want to go overboard. <clears throat> go. A little trunk showing, right? Look, a little, here's a little branch. See that after the fact, put the branch in. Maybe there's another one there. Okay, little, little, little things. Wow, this is just like so, oh, I just stuck my hand in a pile of paint. Hold on. This is so cool. Like, if anybody's wondering, yeah, I'll be making more of acrylics too. You know, I'll, I'll split it up. I love oil, but I didn't think... Uh, you know, it's a little bit more time with the acrylics, obviously, but man, I love, I love it how, you know, tonight's going. So <clears throat> I'm wondering if I should leave that dead. Maybe I should just put, should I, here, I'm going to, I know I haven't looked at the chat because I've really been trying to focus. I didn't want to like waste anybody's time coming here and I'm like joking around and not working. So I'm going to put grass here just for a second while I'm doing that. I'm just curious. Should I add a few leaves onto, the, onto this here? Please just let me know. I'm going to look down. Thumbs up, thumbs down, yes, no's, whatever. Facebook and YouTube. I got trying to peek down to see what people think. Just a few flower, or flowers, uh, leaves. Or, or no, one or the other. So I'm, while, I'm, while you guys are answering that, I'm going to take some dark, uh, some green, a little yellow, like a nice dark color, a little yellow ochre. Just to put, I just want to put a little indication of grass. So we got some thumbs up so far. Some, mm hmm. Okay. Let me see how this looks here. All right, that's a dark enough color. So I'm going to put a little bit of grass here. And this is just going to, if anybody ever sees this in real life, it'll, it'll just help you figure out how the land is going. A little bit there. And this just kind of like really helps. You know, set the tree, set it down and stuff. All right, but I don't think there should be any light there because, you know, there's really no light going there. You know what I mean? So let me do the same thing here. Watch this. 
there's like a little bit of grass growing back here. See? Now that really just helps this. I'm going to grow it right up the tree. Watch. Yeah. Let's grow some grass up this tree to clean the, clean the edge up. <clears throat> Yellow in there so you can see it. See that? Right up the tree. Little, just a little bit. Not, not too crazy. Do some back here too. Little moss or whatever that is. I don't know. A little bit there. There, there, there. Just a tiny bit. Just enough to get somebody in trouble when they say, all right, yep, it's got grass. Okay, wipe this off. Ooh. All right. I'm having fun. I'm having fun tonight. I'm telling you, I like, this is fun. I like this a lot. All right, here we go. Um, let me wipe the uh, flat brush off. <clears throat> get on the paper towels. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab that little micro filbert. Where are you at, micro filbert? Yep. All right. I got the micro filbert. Here we go. So here's what I'm going to do. Watch this. I'm going to put just a few little leaves on here, but, but let me do, I got an idea. Here we go. Idea. Just stand by and watch what I'm saying or doing. Okay. Let me get my color ready here. <clears throat> and just bear with me one second. I think this will do. I think this is a good idea is what I'm saying here. Hopefully I'm right. Bear with me. Mixing a color. Mixing a color. Okay. Um. Hmm. That's my idea. My idea right here, guys. Hopefully I, uh, yeah, that's all right. You saw how I made the other leaves, right? I just figured, let's do this, watch this. Little indications first, okay. Watch, we know the tree goes in there. We know there's some branches here, right? See? Yeah. Man, some here. This is just like a tree, it's just kind of doing whatever it wants. This is a good color. Just growing right up the branch. Sprinkling this color around. See that? I think that looks pretty cool so far, honestly. And just a little there. I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to go overboard though. I just want to get some on here and then I'm going to refine it. Okay. There too. Just to cover the top of this trunk, maybe. Show that it's growing up there. Yep. Okay, it's like it's springtime, right? And it's about to start doing its thing, you know, and growing and stuff like that. So, okay, here we go. Here we go. Light color, and there we are. Hello. Good to see you. Very nice to see you. So, you know, it's funny, like that color will sell this picture. This color will sell this picture. It'll be sold tonight. Just kidding. I'm just joking. I don't know. I was just, just saying something positive. <laughs> Maybe it will, though. Like, it's a great color. What do you think? What do you think? I like it. I like, uh, I like pictures that have uh, pink in them and, you know. I'm just sprinkling some white here and there, okay. just to complement the dark, the darker, uh, the darker uh, pink or whatever. Maybe just a touch of it over here, not too much. It'll just show that indication, you know, that it's the same uh, tree or whatever, you know, same highlights and, and colors and things like that. Okay. Maybe there's a leaf that's hanging over like this. See, it kind of crosses over that branch right there, and I think that's important to do stuff like that. Cross over, see. It just shows that it's doing more than, you know, it's not just going one direction. There's all kinds of things happening here, which I love this actually, by the way. I'm not, you know, I love the color. It's amazing. I'm just glad that I was thinking of like, hmm, what should I do here for color? 
I was like, ah, green. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. I don't think we should do green leaves again. We just did a bunch of green leaves. So just going to make a little, watch this. This branch here is going down, down, down. See that? Awesome. Now watch a little darker. A little dark in there. A little bit dark pink to complement this. See? A little hang down little branch. Bring some this way. Mm-hmm. Darken it just a hair more. A little bit more. Right there. A little bit of that blue color. A little bit of the blue. Purple. Okay. I just want to put a few little markies right there. Yeah, no, I'm actually like, uh, I really do like this color a lot. And that's what I was thinking was like, oh, you know, no green leaves. Let's make some nice uh, pink or purple, you know, leaves, like little springtime leaves or something. I was just mixing up a color just to make it like dark for contrast purposes right here. I didn't want all light leaves there. Okay. It's a few dark leaves just to, it just helps it out, you know, different directions. See that right there? Nice. Now let me drop some this way. So a little, just a couple. Gravity's gonna, you know, gravity's gonna drop a few leaves this way too. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then we can probably just take a little bit of, you know, go back to our light color again. A white highlight color. There you are. And, you know, maybe just drop just a couple, not too many though. Just a, just a few on here. Follow that downward. That maybe falls over the branch this way. This way. Balance this up a little bit. Yeah, okay. Oh, my arm went to sleep. <laughs> Let me just add just like one or two back here. Just in case somebody's like, hey, what about that tree? Okay, uh, what else? Color, let me look in this other picture here, and I'm just going to pop in, uh, you know, it looked like there was something here and there on this one, too, just a little bit. I don't want to go overboard with this because you can for sure. You know, like maybe this is the leaves, uh, maybe they, some of them fell on the ground and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe they did. Maybe I'll just slice a little bit of this nice, beautiful color like this. Maybe this is smaller. This is further back, right? See that color? You know, maybe these are the flowers. Uh, we see them way back in there. It just kind of whips right around. I don't know. Just an indication. It's a thought, though, you know? It's just definitely a thought. And... <clears throat> All right, let me... Wipe this off real quick. Wiping the mold microfilmed off. <clears throat> okay, just give me one second, guys. Don't go anywhere. I'm just wiping this uh, filbert off because you would be surprised how how quick this stuff dries. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't, I mean, I don't know about you, but I love those leaves. I definitely love them leaves. And if you all stand here for a second, I'm going to put the other picture next to it, but you can't go anywhere. That's going to be the big reveal. All right. I'm just wiping this flat brush off real quick. And then I have to take a drink of this Dr. Pepper. And throw that away. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> no, I just have to, uh, I, if anybody's interested in seeing... I got to zoom the camera out a little bit, okay? Uh, hold on, I got to find the remote to do that. Hang on. There are other pictures, obviously, right here. Hold on. Looking for the remote. There it is. I got it. Coming back. Oh, wow, that looks... Yeah, I just, like, turned around. I'm Listen, I'm happy with this, okay? What do we got here? Let me see how, how that looks so far. Hold on, I'm zooming out. I am zooming out. 
Give me one second, guys. I just want to make sure. Okay. All right. So my microphone's a little bit there in the way. Um, hang on. Maybe we can go a little further. Mm-hmm. Seems about right. I want you to be able to see the thing still, so. Okay. All right, so that's zoomed out. Bear with me. Moving the microphone, okay? Moving the microphone. Try not to drop the other monitor that's down low. All right, you guys ready? Is everybody watching? Is everybody ready? Moving the microphone. Let's see how this looks. Somebody give me a thumbs up real quick, if you can see that. If you can see them, but well, actually, I have a monitor right in front of me. What am I doing? Oil. This is going to be a good thumbnail for the picture when it goes back up. Oil. Acrylic. So this was oil. This was 2016. Okay, 2016, and this is acrylic from 2020. I hope you guys like it. You want it contact me it's for sale 100 percent. email me though if anybody wants this you want to buy it send me an email that's that's how i'll check for that okay you'll have you have to email me because it's not i'm not going to list it on the website oh my back hurts okay i'm going to take this down hold on hold on guys don't go anywhere oh the bright light in front of me so Listen, um, thank you so much for coming here tonight and, and watching and having fun. If you can't, I'm excited about this. I really, um, I just really like this. It turned out better, way better than I thought. I thought I was going to embarrass myself tonight. I thought I was going to lose everybody that followed me. I thought you all were going to pack up and be like, oh man, this guy sucks. We ain't watching him anymore. So I'm really happy. I love this. I, I actually really like this. Um, I wish you could see it in person. It's it. I know the camera does some things differently, um, but when I went to get this little remote to zoom the camera out, when I turned around, it just like, like stuck out in front of me. So I'm super happy and I want to thank you. I really sincerely thank you for coming here and watching this live stream. We were still streaming, my monitor's down there. So I have to check with a few things and figure out when the next one is. Um, this video is going to stay up. It'll go up and it'll be back up in like 45 minutes or an hour. And I hope you guys had fun. Um, I'm definitely doing more acrylic. Thank you for all the people who asked me to do acrylic. That's the only reason I did it. I'm excited. So let me get ready to end the stream in a second. I just want to take one more look at the painting real quick. And that is off. Yeah, I'm happy, guys. I'm happy. Have a great night. Stay safe, happy, healthy, alive, all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next stream or the next vid or on the next something. I will see you, though. I guarantee you that. I have a big mess to clean up. I love you guys. Anybody who did anything, nice comments, I will read those. I will read those tonight. So email me. Come on. Email. It's ready. All right. I love you guys. I'm getting ready to drop this stream. See you later.